While the Tory government continues to mess things up in this country, the Labour Party continues to be all over the place. Yes, earlier today we've had another U-turn from Keir Starmer when it comes to his position and the Labour Party's position on Israel versus Gaza. But yesterday's Labour Party's position was different again. So Rachel Reeves, who is supposed to be number two, if Labour wins the, um, the, the election, when they would get to government, it will be Keir Starmer, then Rachel Reeves. So she's not just a backbench MP. She was targeted by a mob of Islamists and the far left uh, in Leeds when she was campaigning. And uh, they didn't like that the Labour Party is not completely defending uh, the Islamists in Gaza. There's a problem. I'm going to show you the video in a second. But the reaction from Rachel Reeves was not the best. But also the Islamist mob, the couple of people who were basically chasing her, just keep asking questions and shouting and screaming. They were also a little bit irrational, let's just say. Hi, hi, hi. hi. I'm, hi. I'm not actually from your local area, but obviously we've been following you for a really long time. All right, nice to meet you. And um, we just really wanted to understand. We are about to start Yeah, we've been to Yeah, no, that's really, really, really good because we want to make sure that Riaz and you do really well. Yeah. And it's really important to us that Labour wins this. Yeah, right. It's been a long time waiting. 14 mm, years. The, only, yeah, the only thing government. is, is that we're really concerned, Rachel. What's your current position in respect of what's happening in Gaza at the moment? Yeah, we should have this conversation separately. Rather well, than we've, tried to have this com we've, ha we've tried to have this conversation we're, and you've we, not been can available. Can we start the campaign some, session? So it, it doesn't, it doesn't these, work. We've no, tried we're, we're, and it's we're, not we're, we're, work. Are you a Are you a constituent? We've tried through the mosque. Are you, I just get let me just, just a, are you, oh, well, I've seen Arshad recently. Yeah. Uh, are you in my constituency? I'm not, but I'm a oh, part, right, I'm okay. a part you of, are, I'm, right? a, I'm a Muslim and I live in the UK okay. and I pay my taxes. Well, you, yeah. You're yeah. with so, us. The office does speak to a wide range of constituents every week. And if you are a constituent, yeah, in fact, touch, I was in touch with Arshad Katana last night. Is there a reason why you can't answer the question? Because I have a huge number of people contact me and my surgeries are for constituents. So does that mean that every time a different person contacts you, you have a different answer? No. Because we just simply want to answer. We're only simple questions. It's all right. It's just simple questions like, uh, how do you feel Sorry, about please. Israel turning off the water? And Rachel, no, would you no, be no, able to live without water? Like just for one day like without water? Moment. They're having to eat grain. Is that correct, Rachel? Rachel, please, can you just answer the question whilst you're walking? You voted against the ceasefire on the 15th of November, Rachel. What is your position regarding the ceasefire now? Has your stance changed? Rachel, Rachel, can we talk to you? We're, we're just answer, to just answer our questions, Rachel. It's just no, simple. Listen, 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 please, listen, listen. Just answer the question. How, how could you live without water, Rachel? Have you had a glass of water today? Them children haven't. Yeah, them children haven't had a glass of water. The children are digging holes for water, Rachel. It's just so sad, Rachel. How would you like to dig the children out of uh, under rubble? Have you got children, Rachel? I've got a daughter. I've got a 19 year old daughter. I couldn't imagine burying her, Rachel. Tell me how you'd feel. Rachel, please tell us how you'd feel. It's really important, Rachel. We need to know. We need to know what's going on. How do you feel? Why did you not vote for a ceasefire? Rachel, where are you going? Rachel, Israel's got a right to defend, but Palestine hasn't, Rachel. Why, Rachel? Why are Palestinians lesser people? Where are you going, Rachel? Don't leave, Rachel. Talk to us. We want to talk in a civilised conversation, Rachel. Rachel, why wouldn't you talk? Rachel, just answer the questions. Oh, wow. Okay, so, first things first. As I said at the beginning of the video, Rachel Rees is not just a backbench MP. Usually speaking, when people come to you, or actually, even, even then, MPs should still answer to everybody, right? If it's a civilised conversation, right? Correspondence. There are some backbench MPs who say, are you not my constituents? If you're not in my constituency, then I'm, you know, just feel free to get in touch with your own local MP. In a normal situation. But when something serious is happening, it doesn't matter if they're not in your constituency or not. 
Rachel Reeves has no right to say that because she's not just a backbench MP. She's going to be number two in British government. So technically speaking, if someone approaches her from London or Yorkshire or Wales, she has to respond. Right? Now, second problem. Now, <laughs> in defense of Rachel Reeves, the people who are targeting, oh, my, they were extremely irrational. And they have a feeling where if there's a motion in the House of Commons for ceasefire, somehow Netanyahu's government really care about what the British Labour Party is saying? You really think that the, the Israeli government are going to change their policy based on what the Labour Party does in the House of Commons? No, because these people are simply doing virtue signaling. They simply wanted to vote for a motion that is meaningless. Voting for motions is just stupid. Absolutely stupid. We had it from all sides, by the way. The left, the right, anti-lockdown, pro-lockdown, anti-this, anti-globalist, pro-globalist. Everyone was obsessed with voting for motions in the House of Commons. Read the constitution, well, read the actual parliamentary constitution, read the rules, understand how our parliament works before going around saying the British parliament must send a strong message. No, you are an idiot.